Hello everyone, welcome back to Healing to Go to Well. My name is Shay. Welcome. If you're new, you might as well get comfortable because I'm sure you're gonna love me. Spirit wouldn't have led you to my video if it wasn't for you or someone in your environment. If you're a returner, I really appreciate your support. I'm almost at like 200 subscribers and i'm so excited about that so if you don't mind make sure you bang that subscribe button hit that notification bell you know show your girl some love especially if the reading resonates and you know especially if spirit just led you to my channel it was definitely for a reason and i love you and you love me but anyways um <laughs> Uh, make sure you check out the links in my description box. If you want to know anything about me, you can check out my website at healingtogo.com with a two. Um, make sure you check out my other channel. It's called Healing to Go All Signs, where I do 12 signs. And make sure that you go to my Etsy store if you want any readings, personalized readings. Keep in mind that tarot is entertainment. So if the reading don't resonate, baby, it's just not for you, baby. It might be for your mama, might be for your daddy. Just hit the like button. That's it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but anyway, we're going to get right into it. I'm just going to do a general read. Whatever comes out, whatever, you know, energy I feel to go with it, is that's what I'm going to rock with. I ain't even going to lie. I'm feeling the energy of, like, love. I feel the energy of having a lot of choices because this is the card of choices this is also the card this card is also about choices this card is about um being stuck not being able to make a choice and the king of pentacles is about getting grounded so i feel like whoever i'm speaking to definitely has a lot of choices um, I feel the energy of you're not being very satisfied with those choices. Like, those choices don't really meet your standards. And that's okay because you don't want to make a choice just because you feel like you have to. That's almost desperate. You kind of send back and you wait. You know what I'm saying? You kind of waiting on God or your spirit angels to help you make those choices. Because, And I feel like I'm, I may be talking to a woman or a feminine energy. Doesn't have to be take the reading how it resonates and um because she's looking up at this angel like what should i do and he's looking at her like bitch make a choice well sorry i didn't mean to call nobody no bitch but you know girl make a choice you know what i'm saying so uh maybe somebody's yeah definitely stuck trying to make a choice between i'm hearing two people but with the seven of cups i feel like it's two main people you kind of stuck in your head about the um these two people. I'm getting the energy of like one of these people may be very sexual, very flirty. He may look good. I'm 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 seeing somebody like a dark skinned tall man with pink lips, got really beautiful eyes, smells so good, and he carry himself like he got himself together. But I'm also getting the energy of he don't. Like it's a facade. Like it's a mask. It's not real. It's like, I don't know. I could say so much stuff to compare. It's like a donut, right? We all know donuts aren't necessarily good for us. But they look so good. And they taste so good. But you can't, you know what I'm saying? think that you're going to stay in shape or, you know what I'm saying, cut calories and be eating donuts all day. So it's almost like a, a guilty pleasure. And then the other one, he's very stable. He's like the, the complete opposite of that. Like the complete opposite, very grounded, stable. He may be a businessman or some sort of manager or highly aspected wherever he works. Very protective. I'm getting a Taurus energy off this. And I'm also, with the Lovers card, that's Gemini energy. And the um, Ace of Swords is also Gemini energy. With this King of Pentacles, I feel like this man may be very spiritual as well. Very sensual. 
he likes to touch and he likes beauty. He's kind of chill. He's laid back. He don't bother nobody. And maybe a bit boring to you. But at the same time, it's like he's interesting. So it's like with this other guy, the sex is great. Y'all probably go out. You know what I'm saying? Y'all do fun shit with this guy. He's laid back. Probably a little older, a little more wise. Or the other guy could be older or more wise. Because he gives me King of Wands energy. King of Wands vibes. One of these guys may even have kids. But you're definitely trying to make some sort of choice. I have two choice cards here. Wow, then the Knight of Wands come out. So this other guy is definitely exactly who I said he is. Because that's who I described. Either a Knight of Wands energy or a King of Wands energy. They're like... The Knight and the King is like two of the same, in my opinion. But the King has grown up a bit more. He's more business oriented. He do things way more strategically. He might be reckless, but he got a structure about it. The night, he just reckless as hell. Like, he childish with it. You know what I'm saying? He probably ain't got too much money. You may feel like one of these people are your twin flame or soulmate. Or you may just feel a deep connection to either one of these people. Because I have the three of wands here. And the three of wands represents twin flame unions, twin flame connections. You may write. Maybe a... Um, a journalist or this person may be a journalist or some sort of blogger or something it has to do with writing you may write they may write something three stand for creativity so you or this person may be very creative but i feel like whoever i'm speaking to when it comes to these choices you're kind of just being optimistic you keeping your you keeping i'm recording you keeping your options open and you just kind of waiting. I feel like you're waiting on spirit. You're waiting on your intuition. You're waiting on a sign, I feel. Four wands to me in a reading definitely denotes some sort of um, coming together of two. The four wands speaks to someone who's highly aspected in the community as well. It speaks to expansion and growth. So I feel like one of these choices is your your girl or guy definitely it's just making a choice and figuring out who that is that's that's where we have this problem here with this eight of swords because it's like you're kind of keeping yourself trapped not making a, a choice because you can it's not like you engaged in making a choice but i feel like you're being strategic off of this i'm getting very i'm getting the energy of strategy I almost feel like you're purposely keeping yourself back just so that you can make the right choice or a healthy choice. Clarify this Eight of Swords spirit. Clarify the Eight of Swords spirit. This is Eight of Swords. And I have two eights here. Eights remind me of oh, 08. No, I lied. That's not an eight. But eights definitely remind me of infinity, having some sort of connection, higher power connection. Whether you are connected or disconnected, there is a connection. This relationship, one of them may um, mentally stimulate you a lot. And the other one might just be about materialism or um, I would say surface level conversations. Somebody may be very stubborn. One of them may be blocking their heart. With this eight of wands, I get momentum. The energy I'm getting is like, I don't know where the spirit is saying you have to, there's a need for you to move forward. Or take yourself out of this mental prison because I feel like you already know the only reason you're keeping yourself trapped in this is because one of them you want more than the other, but you know the one that you want more is probably the one you shouldn't be with. <laughs> and then I got the magician here with the um, nine of swords. So I feel like when a magician show up, it, it, it could either be the one or 
usually in a love reading when he shows up it means he's the one but if you have two choices i'm also getting the energy of one being like a con artist he kind of just say say what he got to say to get what he want um he probably don't got as much money as he's portraying and it's keeping you it's giving you kind of anxiety depression from the eight of swords to the nine of swords it's like now you went from kind of stuck trying to figure something out to now it's stressing you out and it shouldn't be i mean i'm not saying it shouldn't be that hard because you know connections and soul ties are very fucking strong trust me i get it but at the same time if something's keeping you mentally trapped i've seen and heard that maybe you should just kind of not make a decision but not making a decision and it's not always good and this eight of swords um this eight of wands i mean is definitely telling me that there's a need for you to make a decision there's a lot of passion one of them um i feel like there's a lot of sex there's a lot of passionate sex now this could be somebody that you <laughs> knew already somebody in the past that you just can't get away from and you don't met somebody new and now you don't know what to do don't mess up a good opportunity with somebody who actually fuck with you and love you repeat yourself because that's what this nine of ones does this nine of ones is also about being strong and resilient having some sort of structure but it could be too repeating yourself from doing something over and over and over but it's coming under this king of um pentacles and the king of pentacles is very structured and abundant this nine of ones do remind me of like a house or some sort some some sort of construction something but the nine of ones also denote triggers so this past person or this nine of ones type of person may be very triggering i'm getting the energy of they come in and out of your life they're very non-committal y'all probably been talking and fucking around for a little minute and you just can't let them go they just can't let you go and it's just a toxic cycle they do the same shit over and over kind of been playing with your heart string you along for the longest this could be a female or a male doesn't matter take the energy how it resonates but it's not good and then you got this king of pentacles here who I feel like ain't finna take no shit. I feel like this person is very balanced with their emotions. And something's triggering you. For the eight of wands to be out here, I mean for the eight of swords and the nine of wands to be out here together, something's definitely triggering. The three of wands also denote to repeating something. But they are surrounding this eight of wands. So I definitely feel like you need to make a choice to move on. Move on from this past person or this person that, you know, you just met and it's really all about fun. Nothing serious. No money. No structure. No none of that. Like, y'all probably been doing this for a while. So you need to stop waiting. They probably juggling you anyways. Or you just juggling your emotions. Or this also could denote to you just trying to make a decision. But whatever your decision is, I hope it's a great and healthy decision. And that's all I have for you guys today. And I love you. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.